the biggest appeal in its 153-year history. Battersea Dogs Home is hoping to replace its Victorian kennels with state-of-the-art facilities. And to do this, it will need to raise £1.9 million. To start the campaign off and lay the first stone at the new site were dog ambassadors Paul O'Grady, David Gandhi, Amanda Holden and Dame Jacqueline Wilson. They give you so much love, so much loyalty and they ask for absolutely nothing and it breaks my heart to sometimes see the circumstances they've come from. I, I can't bear the kind of human beings that could do that to, to anything, let alone sort of such loyal animals. Um, and so, you know, you just, you just feel for them. You want to reach out and do everything you possibly can to give some love back to them because they give us so much. I'm a huge dog lover, absolutely. I've, uh, unfortunately, I can't, I can't, uh, can't have a dog at the moment because I, tra I travel so much. But I have little Lulu here who I'm fostering for a couple of weeks. I've fostered four dogs. Um, for, for different time periods and uh, they have a little recuperation, a little holiday and then they, we found them all, all perfect homes. Designed with every dog in mind, the kennels will have underfloor heating and exercise pens, a dog-tastic playground for the canine companions. With no government funding and 14 new dogs a day passing through the home, the investment is badly needed. Our biggest problem is our older kennels and our kennels that are under Victorian arches, as many of the, the, the properties are very old uh, in this area, um, are now way past their sell-by date. They really don't offer the very best facilities that we would like to give to our animals. And so for the last two years we've been fundraising to raise enough money to build new kennels for Battersea. The kennels are expected to be finished by the end of the year, helping to turn each sad story of a stray or unwanted dog into a happy tale.